Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny. Welcome back to yet another FNAF video. Today's a bit different because once again, we're taking a look at a giant haul I've got with a whole bunch of brand new FNAF merchandise. Unlike the previous one, which was all centered around some brand new U2's plushies and figures, I don't really have a set plan for this one. I've just been getting a whole bunch of brand new products. So if you enjoy these haul videos, don't forget to scroll down, tickle the sub button, and I'd say let's kick it off with, personally, one of my favorite things I've gotten recently. And that is, of course, the brand new Funko statues. First up, let's take a look at Lefty. As you can see, Funko spared absolutely no expense. Look at how awesome this guy looks. The statue has Lefty peeling open his mouth with the puppet trying to escape. It just looks absolutely insane. You can see the puppets, little tentacles, arms and legs peeking out from all different angles of the suit. Just an absolutely insane pose. And for decorations, they've also got some balloons and a music box back here filled with what looks to be just some stuffing. The statue is, again, just absolutely insane. Lefty looks so goddamn cool. When it was revealed we were getting a Lefty statue, I'd assumed they were just gonna do him in the back alley, but no, they went above and beyond and actually have the puppet emerging from his suit. It looks, again, just insane. And the second statue we got is Foxy inside of his pirate's coat. Taking a look, 360 around the statue, you can see the curtain covers the entirety of Foxy, which I thought was pretty interesting. I thought they were just gonna do it, like, cut in half with the backside exposed, but no, it goes all the way around. On the inside, there's not a roof, so you can see right down there, you can see some wood flooring that Foxy's standing on inside of his cove. Foxy's pose is, again, absolutely spectacular. You can also see the It's Me sign. He's just ready to lunge out of that cove, rush towards your door, and most likely, getcha. The detail and material on Foxy is a bit iffy, doesn't look the best, looks pretty cheap, but honestly, it's a minor nitpick. Overall, the statues, both of them, look absolutely spectacular. Next up is something pretty small. I don't think I've seen many people talk about them since they came out, but Funko also released some brand new plushies. And what's interesting about these is that on one side, you can see Nightmare Freddy, but actually they have the ability to invert themselves and turn into classic FNAF 1 Freddy. The details, all right. Actually, it looks like on mine, there's a bit of stitching coming out on his freckle. Yeah, the detail's fine. I think the concept of having one plushie of a character, inverting it and turning it into, oh, that's the wrong way, another character is pretty interesting. Imagine them doing something like this for Funtime Foxy and Lolbit. That'd be pretty cool. As you can see here, this is Nightmare Chica. She does even have the bow. That's not a bow, that's a bib. Actually, this is Nightmare Chica's bib. And then you flip it and you've got classic FNAF 1 Chica. And lastly, they only made four of these, of course, for the four main characters. You've got Nightmare Bonnie with his bow, flip him around, and the ears actually do come out the other side. And you've got classic FNAF 1 Bonnie. So that's pretty interesting. I do wonder if we're going to see a second wave of these guys. I don't know how many people have picked these up, but I thought they're pretty interesting. I'd like to see Funko do a bit more with this concept in the future. And just to stick on the topic of Funko plushies, I was able to find some of the brand new Balloon Circus plushies. This one is of Balloon Freddy. Unfortunately, I couldn't find all of the Balloon Circus plushies, but I was able to find four. So this is Balloon Freddy. As you can see, he's dressed up in his balloon boy attire, red and blue stripes on a shirt, and also his propeller hat, blue balloon being held in one of his hands, and also, let's take a look at this tag, because I think it looks pretty interesting. Some cool detail, I do love the aesthetic of this brand new wave, even if I'm still pretty confused about what these characters are going to be for. That was a look at Balloon Freddy now, let's take a look at the sad boy himself, Circus Foxy. Looks like his teeth are sticking up a little bit, these should be down, but he's got his suspenders on, bunch of clown makeup, even the teardrop. He's got a tail on his back, some stitching on his clothes as well. Pretty nice plushie. <laughs> He's also got a gigantic red nose that is super, super funny. And I think all of the Circus characters have that actually. Taking a look now at Circus Bonnie. Unfortunately, these are not real bells on top of his ears, but <laughs> he still looks pretty goofy. Looks like he's dressed up as a jester, one giant tooth po uh, poking out of his mouth, and some white buttons on his tummy. And finally, for plushies I was able to find for Balloon Circus, we've got Circus Freddy, the main man himself. He doesn't have too much detail on him. In fact, he looks pretty naked, honestly, when compared to the other plushies. But he's got a nice hat on. Looks like, ooh, there's some white stripes up there on his hat. As well as a flower on it. Once again, a bright uh, red nose, bow, vest. He looks pretty chill. I like him. And once again, hopefully pretty soon I can find some more 
of the Balloon Circus plushies. I know I'm missing quite a few of the Balloon characters and also uh, Circus Chica. And actually, I've still yet to find the 10-inch Nightmare Freddy and Bonnie plushies as well as any figurines of the Balloon Circus characters. But what I was able to find were these. The pop keychains of Balloon Freddy and Balloon Foxy. Let's take a look at Freddy first. These guys are just scaled down versions of their pop equivalents, which we will take a look at in a quick second once we're done taking a look at Foxy. They're still pretty cute. I really wish I was able to find the Balloon Foxy plushie because I adore that one. But now actually taking a look at the main deal, we've got the Balloon Freddy Funko Pop figure. Here's what the back looks like, by the way, if you're curious. Here's one side, good old number 908. And here's the other side. Once again, I love the aesthetic that these packages have. Of all the colorful balloons and lights, it just looks absolutely fantastic. And also here is Balloon Foxy. I think people have done uh, deeper videos taking a look at all of these figures. So I'm just going to go buy them pretty quick. I'm not going to take them out of their boxes. Especially because we do have a whole bunch of stuff to take a look at in today's video. We also have Circus Freddy's Pop right here. Love the detail on this guy. And once again... That's unfortunately all the pop figures I'm able to find for these guys. And that is apart from a brand new set of pops that released only a couple days ago. And that is the Target Con exclusive Metallic Balloon Freddy and Balloon Bonnie 2 pack. It might be a bit difficult to view these guys because of all the reflections on the boxes, but they are made out of a completely different material. Let me actually show you a comparison between Freddy and his normal pop and also the one in the exclusive two pack. There you go. Now you can see the difference. These guys are exclusive to 2023's Target Con event. So if you really want to be on the lookout for these guys, I suggest going to Target, trying to have a look around. There should be a whole bunch of brand new pops exclusive to the brand new event. And I think that's going to do it for all the brand new Balloon Circus products I've gotten. And next up, arrived only a couple days ago, is the brand new official Freddy Fazbear Pillow Pet. This fella is one chonky fella. As you can see, this is officially licensed. This is legit from Pillow Pet. And if you don't know what a Pillow Pet is, basically, you can see how he just looks like a regular pet, you know? Well, he's got a strap at the bottom where if you take it apart, he turns into a pillow. Now, actually, very graciously, Pillow Pet reached out and they sent me this guy for free. So thank you so much, Pillow Pet. I'll leave a link down in the description to their website if you want to go pick him up. I'm not being paid to say this. They just sent him uh, to me for free. But I love them, so I'm going to give them a shout out anyway. And also for plushies, because we're not done just yet. I also got Wave 3 of the official Hex and FNAF collaboration in the mail the other day. This is Toy Freddy. He's got a whole bunch of detail on him. Once again, I'll say it. I always love the aesthetic that Hex goes for with the stitching along his stomach and also the button eyes. You can see his top hat as well. He's got a microphone in hand, similar to FNAF 1 Hex Freddy right over there. Nice tail at the back. You can take apart his arms and his legs and also his head, as you can with all the other Hex plushies. Next up, we've got Toy Bonnie, who, trigger warning, looks like this, for me at least. <laughs> I don't know why his mouth, his lower jaw goes so far back. It looks a bit goofy, but I guess I still love him. He did lose his guitar strap, if you remember, uh... FNAF 1 Bonnie, who I'm going to compare to once again, had a guitar strap that went around his neck. It was pretty neat. I don't know why they got rid of it. I think Daco said for like safety reasons, but I'm kind of confused by that. But he's got a gigantic bow on front of him. He's got a cute little bunny tail on the back. He's got his ears at the top. Yeah, I don't know. It just looks like my toy Bonnie got stung by a bee, so I think I'm a little, <laughs> a little iffy on this guy, but... Once again, I still think the detail on him looks pretty dang good. Next up, we've got Toy Chica, who, as you can see, for some reason, is just absolutely massive. And I'm not even just making that up. It's not like a, oh, I'm messing with your perspective. No, take a look at her compared to Toy Freddy. Why, why is she so freaking massive? You can see, once again, FNAF 1 plushies, their heads all line up. They're the exact same size. Why, oh, why? is Chica just so massive. Now you may notice I've not tied around her bib. You can tie it at the back so it actually stays in place. I've not done that yet because I'm I'm quite lazy. But I think that's an amazing detail, uh, having a bow at the back. You can also see tail. Cupcake is a bit different than FNAF 1 Chica's Cupcake. And also something pretty neat about the Toy Chica plushie is that you can actually take off her beak, much like in FNAF 2, and you can see her endoskeleton. So yeah, overall Toy Chica looks pretty dang good, just very, very confused about why she looks so, so massive when compared to all the other plushies. And lastly, for the Hex Wave 3 lineup, we've got Balloon Boy. Unfortunately, no mangle just yet. Hopefully they're still working on them, but Balloon Boy 
actually turned out pretty dang good. He's got his balloon sign, he's got his actual balloon, which unfortunately doesn't act like a traditional balloon, but they do have the balloon, you know, string. It does weigh him down a bunch though, so I feel like this arm might be pretty easy to come off if you're just messing around with them. Yeah, just like that. His head's pretty detailed though. He's got all his features, the bright rosy cheeks, triangle nose, button eyes, the propeller hat that, eh, yeah, kind of spins. I mean, I guess technically it, it's able to move, but it doesn't spin very well. Uh, but that was Hex Wave 3. Overall, it's a pretty decent wave, though I do have some pretty major complaints. I've also heard a lot of people who got Balloon Boy didn't get some accessories that came along with him, so it just seems all over the place. I know when mine arrived, they were all in very, very different packaging. Some of them weren't in any plastic bags that arrived in the actual hex bag some of them were in a different styled bag some of them were in bubble wrap it was it was kind of weird and also opening them up and seeing toy chica be absolutely massive for some reason bonnie's face being like sunk back a little bit i don't know i still really enjoy the wave but there's definitely some kinks i would like them to work out and i'm looking around i didn't show off the boxes for the funko statues but I mean, do I really need to show off the boxes? You can see their designs right there. But you may have noticed I took something from that area that I forgot to talk about, which is the 13 and a half gigantic Freddy Fazbear Funko figure. I have no clue why they decided to make Freddy Fazbear over a foot tall, but I guess I ain't complaining, cause look at him, he's got a movable jaw, that's pretty neat. The movement on this guy is relatively restrictive because he's so massive, you can't really bend the knees at all. A little difficult for him to hold the microphone, but I believe the same thing happened with the traditional figure, so I guess it's not that big of a deal. But once again, the movable jaw is pretty neat. There is also a Bonnie 13 and a half uh, inch figure that I've not been able to find, and apparently there should be a Golden Freddy one coming out pretty soon. And I'm looking around, and I think that just about does it for this haul. The difficult thing about making merchandise videos is that so much stuff has been releasing recently, that it's hard to like keep up and review everything. So I think every once in a while, I'm just gonna hop in, make a gigantic haul video like this, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. So tell me what products are you most looking forward to? Are you getting anything I showed off in today's video? Or do you already have it? If so, how do you feel about it? Let's get into it. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.